One of the challenges threatening development in Africa is mobility, especially on rural roads where foods and raw materials are generated from. Addressing the situation, Rural Access and Agricultural Marketing Project, RAM, embarked on rural road projects for the benefit of farmers, but concerned about maintenance of the projects. To this end, RAM and World Bank are meeting stakeholders in each state, proposing a bill for the creation of Rural Access Road Authority and state road funds for the sustainability of the projects. Ram State Project Coordinator in Ondo State, Olusha has said the essence of the visit is to propose a law that will protect the interests of majority in rural communities. Part of the bills that will keep the system that will make the agency functional is the SRF. Where will the money come from? The state road fund. How will it be constituted? How will they source for, for money to maintain this road? over this period of time. That's the essence of the visitation of the bank team. Ram Regional Infrastructure Advisor, Southern Region, Al Hassan Aliyu said the proposed project will help in sourcing money for the maintenance of rural roads. Although the project is not intervene, and not less than 2,000 kilometers of rural access roads, rural roads. These 2,000 kilometers will see various forms or various levels of work. World Bank Road Sector Reform Consultant Mesam Abedin maintained that the road reform is part of the agreement the state government signed with the World Bank to have an agency responsible for the maintenance of rural roads after the completion of the projects, hence the need for state road funds, SRF. Abedin said the state road funds would be generated from users' fees and percentage from the state government. But the core objective of the state road fund is to raise revenue for maintenance of the road network. Just getting to the states, getting to the roads can be more difficult and more costly. So there's a managerial bias against, uh, against uh, rural roads. Other agencies visited include Economic Planning and Budget, Internal Revenue Service, Ministry of Transport, Ministry of Justice, among others. Mainly on those states is an agrarian society. And bulk of our product there, they are like fallow in the interior. So our thinking has been rural. What a timely marriage. The project that Mr. Governor has conceived in his mind even before, before he became the governor of Ondo State. And for us, what we are having today is a dream come true. It also is going to support the redeem agenda of uh, our governor, Arakuni Oluwaru Timakere Dolu. You know, top on that uh, redeem agenda is rural and agricultural development. We are going to provide uh, the necessary legislative framework uh, to make the project uh, come to life. They recommended policy and I had to explain to them that we need an integrated approach not to overtax our people because in our extant laws, there are provisions there. Meanwhile, stakeholders, including the World Bank consultants and representative of the federal government, would embark on a workshop where decisions on the bills would be taken. Omori Olahumbiji, OSRC News.